Welcome back subscribers and hello YouTube viewers. On this occasion, we're off to a town called Winchelsea. So Winchelsea is a town in Victoria, Australia. The town is located in the Surf Coast Shire local government area. And the suburb or locality of Winchelsea is predominantly within the Surf Coast Shire with a small section within the Colac Otway Shire. Winchelsea is located on the Barwon River 115 kilometres or 71.4 miles southwest of Melbourne and close to Geelong, just 37 kilometres or 22.9 miles northeast. The first Europeans to reside in the area were squatters who established grazing runs there in 1837. Thomas Austin migrated from Tasmania and occupied the present day shire of Winchelsea in 1837 also. The area was called Austin's Ford. Austin built up the estate of Barwon Park to 29,000 acres or 12,000 hectares, including a mansion which still stands today and you can visit. The first church was built with the help of a local grazier, the same Thomas Austin, in 1846. Thomas Austin also saw himself as a wealthy country squire. Austin loved shooting and in 1859, he imported quails, pheasants, foxes, and rabbits for that purpose. In this way, he became responsible in the eyes of many for Australia's substantial rabbit problems. Winchelsea describes itself as the gateway to the Otways. It lies in rich agricultural area which was one of the first places in Victoria settled by Europeans. The local pub is the third oldest in the state and it is called the Barwon Hotel, which we will see with the drone footage. The town was the administrative centre for the Shire of Winchelsea, which was proclaimed in 1864 and which continued until the 9th of March 1994 when it was amalgamated with the Shire of Barrabool to become the Surf Coast Shire. The railway through the town was opened in 1876 as part of the line to the southwest of the state. The local railway station is served by V-Line passenger services on the Warnable Line. Notable people, Dennis Napthine, Premier of State of Victoria, Darcy Parrish, AFL footballer with the Essendon Bombers, and the most notable is a person by the name of Albert Jacker. Now he was a captain, 14th Battalion of the Australian Imperial Force, and he was the first Australian to be decorated with the VC during the First World War. He later also became the Mayor of St Kilda. He received his VC in 1915, when Jacker killed seven Turkish soldiers after four of his comrades had been killed or wounded. So without further ado, let's check out this township of Winchelsea. So here we are turning into the Barwon Hotel. Now, as mentioned earlier, the Barwon Hotel is the third oldest pub or hotel in Victoria. 
Also, at the rear of this hotel, if you go to the ladies at the bar, and for a nominal fee of $10, uh, you can park your camper van or caravan out the back, or if you're on a motorbike, you can pitch a tent, and you can stay overnight behind the pub. Um, and the condition basically was, uh, if you ordered a meal, they'd add $10 on top, and you can stay overnight. Uh, just clarify that with the girls, so once you get there, go to the front counter, ask them if you could stay around the back, and they were basic, basically the conditions uh, they told me about. Also, if you're a bird lover, you will see shortly that there is just flocks of corellas. There are long build and also little corellas in this immediate area, and we're talking about hundreds, which you'll soon see. So here we are making our way to the Bluestone Barwon River Bridge. It was built in 1867. It's no longer in use. Uh, no vehicles actually uh, uh, across it. Uh, it is a pedestrian bridge, so if you wanted to walk across, ride your bike across, absolutely not a problem. But no vehicles can cross it. There's even barriers there, so uh, it makes it quite clear that uh, there's no access. The new bridge is in place right next to it, which we'll see, and we're directly under and that takes all the traffic. into the centre of the screen now is the old uh, Shire offices.
now coming into the center of the screen the gray building that's the old bank so you can see with some of the historical photos earlier the bank is still there uh, but it doesn't operate as a bank anymore if you note in the very background there's a new housing estate so Winchelsea would make for a great country change so if you're looking for a rural lifestyle this might be the option for you So here on the right is the Presbyterian Church which was built in 1871 and now is the Uniting Church. I'm just going to cruise around on the motorbike as there is a kindergarten or childcare centre here just behind the uh, church here. So as the motorbike does make a bit of noise I'll get in and out as quick as I can as it is a school day for the children. So as we come around the corner here, this is the old Shire offices. You would have seen an earlier photo in the historical photographs uh, at the start of this presentation. And also in this area, there is a skate park. As you can see in the background, there's that church, the Uniting Church, and also the Child Care Centre or Kindergarten. Our next stop is St. Thomas Anglican Church and its first service in this particular church was in 1860. Next door is a music school which occurs once a week and not to make any noise or as least amount of noise I rode as quickly as I could through this location. Ooh. So here we are at the East Reserve where cricket and football is played. I've really wanted to come and have a look at this old stadium, but also this area is known as the hub. So if you were to rent out uh, one of the buildings, it could be used for functions or any sort of event that uh, requires a lot of space. It is a sporting facility area. There are a number of uh, courts uh, basketball uh, in the immediate area and also a children's playground.
So now we're at the Winchelsea Railway Station. It is on the Warnable line. So it will take you from Warnable to Geelong and also on to Melbourne. It does have a, a daily and weekend schedule. And obviously on a Saturday and Sunday, that schedule is limited. Now coming up on our right, we have a very popular rest stop for coaches and travellers, also the information centre, and also a little cafe known as Cafe La Hoot, which is always well patroned by visitors. You can get a nice cup of coffee from there. Uh, and further down, also on our left now, we have the Winchelsea Swimming Pool. It is open seasonally, and it's also, as you've just seen, we've passed a children's playground. At the end, or at the bend of this street, there is a free campgrounds. Uh, you can stay there for 48 hours, pitch a tent, bring in your RVs or your caravans, and stay overnight for two nights without charge. There is also a large bridge whereby the train travels across and if you are a train buff you would most likely want to park your vehicle or pitch your tent next to that what appears to be a viaduct.
So here we are at another historical site. And once again, it's a church. And it's the St. John of Baptist Catholic Church, built in 1892. Now, just here on the right, you'll see a bell tower. That bell tower came from O'Burns of Dublin in 1924. It weighs over one ton. And the bell has its own name, and it's called John. Now, unfortunately, as I came to this location, to be honest, it does look quite abandoned or not in use. Um, I rode around, um, but obviously someone is maintaining the grounds, um, and I'm sure someone can comment to say that it is being used. I couldn't see any signage about uh, any services, uh, but nonetheless, the buildings as well as the church are in excellent order. If it's something that's up for sale, what a great uh, location for a Airbnb or some sort of uh, facility for children or even adults, uh, or even maybe a men's shed or even a place where women can gather to do what they do uh, in their spare time. But nonetheless, it's a great place to use the drone as there is no children about. into the center of the screen now is that railway viaduct I mentioned earlier and you will would have seen uh, in the distance as the train went over when we we're looking at the railway station So here we are nearing and coming to the end of this presentation or video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did by all means give us that thumbs up, hit that like button and please subscribe. Subscribe it doesn't cost you one cent and it really does help the algorithms and this channel immensely. But most importantly stay safe, commute safe and have a great day.